Wait, you're telling me this isn't another one of Disney's remakes? Hey everybody, welcome to Mainly Movies. Today I'm going to be talking about the 2019 musical biopic, Rocket Man. If you're new here, please consider subscribing for a variety of movie-related content like reviews, ranked lists, and trailer reactions. All of my reviews include a breakdown of the pros and cons of the movie, my rating, and some tailored film recommendations, so be sure to watch through to the end of this video for all that extra content. Rocket Man stars Taron Egerton, Jamie Bell, Richard Madden, and Bryce Dallas Howard, and was directed by Dexter Fletcher. Rocket Man gives a stylized and fictionalized account of Elton John's life and music career up through the early 80s. It provides insight into his childhood, stardom, and many personal challenges all through the lens of a musical. I'll admit, I've never been a huge fan of Elton John. That's not to say I don't like some of his music, but for some reason, I've just never listened to him all that much. As was the case last year with Bohemian Rhapsody, my general unfamiliarity with the life and timeline of the band or singer in question has put me in a unique position. I know the music well enough to enjoy it performed on the big screen, and the biopic elements of the film are genuinely interesting, but I have no point of reference to judge whether the story is even remotely historically accurate. I know this historical accuracy was a big point of contention for many with Bohemian Rhapsody, and even as an Elton John novice, I can tell that there's something a little wonky with the timeline of events, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be as big of a deal with Rocket Man. Whereas Bohemian Rhapsody was more of a music biopic, Rocket Man is a biopic musical. The story drives the plot forward, but this film is also very much a fantasy. A fictionalization of events, complete with just about every character breaking out into song at one point or another. I guess I shouldn't really have been surprised by the musical approach, but I was. I was expecting something more in the vein of Bohemian Rhapsody's concert footage recreation approach, so I was initially taken aback when the first highly stylized musical number broke out. You see, I'm not much of a musical person. At least not a live-action musical person. There's something inherently goofy to me about groups of people randomly breaking out into song and dance, so I have to admit, as soon as that first happened in Rocket Man, I mentally prepared myself for a rough two hours. But then something weird happened. I didn't hate it. In fact, I actually kind of liked it. The musical approach and fantastical stylization was a surprisingly good fit for this movie and for telling Elton John's story. The musical style also kept this a fairly energetic and well-paced film. Sequences like Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting and Crocodile Rock pull you into the excitement, while slower songs are mostly well utilized during heavier or more somber moments of Elton's life. The film never quite drags, but there are a few musical sequences around the three-quarter mark that do feel a bit longer than they needed to be, although I think that's at least partially a consequence of the song choice. The style is fitting and the story is interesting, but this film wouldn't have worked without Elton John. And Taron Egerton was Elton John. He embodied the full spectrum of emotions necessary to portray the man, and also had the talent necessary to portray the musician. His renditions of Elton John's hits were truly great, and the degree of effort and passion he put into his role was palpable. Rocket Man might not be a film for everybody, but there's no denying that it captures the spirit of Elton John. All right, let's talk about the pros and cons. I'm actually really surprised that I'm saying this, but pro number one was the style. Like I said before, musicals really aren't my thing, but the fantasy musical style of this movie really worked. Elton John is a flamboyantly larger-than-life person, so this approach to telling a story was perfectly fitting. Not only does it closely combine his music with his life, but it does so in a manner that suits the way he's lived his life. It's a little different and unexpected. It's ostentatious, but doesn't care, because it knows you're going along for the ride no matter what. Pro number two has got to be Taron Egerton. His performance as Elton John is fantastic, and it's obvious that he himself is a fan. He's able to capture and portray the energetic highs of Elton John's life, but does equally well with the dramatic lows. Beyond just the acting, he also actually performs the songs. He sings all of the songs in the movie, and he does a great job with it. 
So great, in fact, that I think I actually almost prefer his version of some of the songs. On the con side, I think my biggest issue is how far they take the stylization at some points. I know that's a little contradictory since the style was my first pro, but I think there were moments it went a little too far. The end of the Rocket Man sequence, for instance, and even non-musical parts like the superimposed flashback thing they did during the third act. None of them made it bad enough that it made me hate it, but there were a few moments that made me hesitate a bit about how much I was actually liking the style. My second con is really minor, but there were a few moments in the movie that felt rushed or out of place. Probably the most noticeable to me was Elton's marriage to Renata. It took a four year period of his life and condensed it down to two minutes and didn't really serve a purpose for the plot. Now, obviously it's a real life occurrence and that's why it's in the movie, but that's the only reason it's in the movie. It's a tough one, because leaving things like that out of a biopic can be controversial and draw criticism, but including it for that reason alone feels a little disingenuous. I'm gonna give Rocket Man three and a half out of five paws. Although I'm not quite in the ideal target audience for this film, I found it to be surprisingly enjoyable. I imagine if I was a bigger fan of Elton John, I would have liked it even more. I would recommend Rocket Man, unsurprisingly, to fans of Elton John. I can't speak to the accuracy of the film, so some fans may be irritated by whatever liberties the filmmakers may have taken with the truth, but I think that's less important here than in other music biopics, because this film inherently takes on a more fantastical approach by being a stylized musical. If you liked Rocket Man, I've gotta recommend Bohemian Rhapsody. Not only is it another music biopic, this time about Queen and specifically Freddie Mercury, but the two films actually share a director. Sorta. Even though he's only credited as an executive producer for Bohemian Rhapsody, Dexter Fletcher took over as director of that movie while filming was still underway. I would also recommend Across the Universe for its more stylized fantasy musical elements. It's not a biopic, but it does incorporate the music of the Beatles. All right, a couple questions for you guys. Number one, have you seen Rocket Man? If so, what'd you think of it? And number two, what's your favorite Elton John song? Be sure to leave your answers in the comments below so we can get a discussion going. All right, so if you got some enjoyment, insight, or information out of this review, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe while you're at it so you can see more videos like this. Till next time, this has been Alyssa with Mainly Movies, the way life should be.